Welcome to my home bicycle workshop and a special shout out to the readers of Jim's Tech Talk on RoadBikeRider.com. Today I'd like to do an unboxing of Park's BX3 Rolling Big Blue Box, a toolbox that Park Tool sent me to replace my old beat up traveling tool case. Let's take a look at that one first. Here it is. Trusty plain old toolbox, a drawer style toolbox, flip top lid, latches, you can see it's overstuffed, has typical drawers that open and close. These types of toolbox are nice for compartmentalization of your tools, easy finding your tools, but it's pretty easy to over jam the drawers, have trouble opening them, and in its 20 years of use, it's taken a beating, it's held up pretty good, but the handle is broken off, the latches are separating, the plastic is deteriorating, and it's time for a new box. So we'll put this aside. And we'll bring over the BX3, which is a fascinating new toolbox from Park Tool that was designed with input from professional mechanics across the country and around the world with Park. So it came in a pretty nice package, it's not that oversized, not that big. There's no padding, this is the full package. You can see right away it has a sturdy handle on the top. There's nothing in the box except the toolbox. first glance, it's safe to say it's a huge upgrade from my old Plano toolbox. It's made of an impact resistant polypropylene, molded, very sturdy, you can tell, you can pick it up. The listed weight is about 21 pounds, empty, you can see the heavy duty reel built-in wheels and it has a handle here also a handle here this thing is very heavy duty and built to withstand anything you could throw at it, it looks like. Not sure how to get the sliding handle up. There it goes. Just have to tug on it a little harder. Slides down. Looks like a really sturdy handle. And a nice case pulls easy much easier to roll this down running for your airplane than it will be to carry a toolbox or to have to go find something to put the toolbox on looking a little closer these um, latches that close and open the box are spring loaded there's a little piece here that has a spring in it you can see the spring there maybe so that when you latch the box, it's nice and tight, can't come undone unless you can get your finger underneath. Once you get your finger underneath the latch, you just flip it and the latch opens. Right next to the latch you can see a place here, and there's a place on the other side too, where you could put a padlock. To lock your toolbox. It's a nice feature.
Let's take a look inside. Ooh. Opens quick because of the gas struts on the sides. That's pretty impressive. The case is waterproof and dustproof, which will protect your, your tools in transit, also protect them when they're uh, in storage and not in use. Um, you can see that there's a lip here, and the lip fits into the groove here, and inside the groove is a rubber molding to seal the case when it's closed. The pallets have Velcro on the edges of the pallets, Velcro tabs too, but the Velcro on the edges let you set the wings out to the side like this so that you basically have a tool board in front of you when you're working. Just like if you're working at a bench here. Plastic rings for lifting. Nice instructions. In the bottom is a nice tray, the place for dividers. And up top you have pallets that fold out. Wrench storage. Here you can see how much storage capacity this big box actually has. You've got the front pallet, you've got the side pallet. All pallets have storage on both sides. You've got the wings, back panel, side wing, and then the sturdy tray on the bottom. Look at the depth of the box. On the back side, pouch here, pouch there. You flip the wings in, you can see there's more pouches here, which are handy for things that are loose, small items, stay in there. So it's gonna be fun to set this up with the exact assortment of tools and it'll travel nicely, protect the tools, easy to fold up. It's easier, in some ways, it's easy to use a drawer box like I used to use, but in this case, it's nice to have pallets that go in and out too. Once everything's set up, tool access would be quicker because you could just reach them and put them back and you could see all your tools. You should be able to keep things more organized with a drawer toolbox. You take the tools out, you lay them all out, and then you end up having to put them back in. Here you probably put the tools in after you use the tool, so you have more ready access of the tool. forward to using this and I'll tell you more about it in a future issue. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Park Rolling Big Blue Box.